Hello there. Today we are gonna do some basic workflow with Magia and uh, I have he here three examples, the crates, the beds and one warrior. So let's start by clicking on the crate which we want to like catch flames maybe and uh, then we are gonna select Magia convert Let's select first uh, simple Magia object and then just click convert. And uh, so the materials are now converted to the Magia materials and you can see the script that is attached here. Uh, here are the basic, basic things on this object. So you can select which kind of which class do you want the effect to be in and uh, if it spreads the effect or it just enables when the game object is enabled and here are the other other settings you can play around with maybe the importance are the ignition time which means that how long the ignition will take and uh, how long the effect is on before it starts to fade out and uh, here you can see the that that we are spawning on the mesh not skinned mesh because this is this is inanimate object object and uh, here we can select the effect pack so the originals are meant to perform well and the high quality ones are meant to uh, have high quality and work only with with HDRP with mo at the moment uh, and here are the effects that are in this effect pack and uh, when you first convert the object it is useful to check the errors page that do you have to error any errors for example if you have static game object you cannot have a static batching because it's it uh, Magio cannot recognize the mesh if it's batched in the other meshes so let's select the uh, high quality ones because I'm using HDRP here and uh, then have a look at VFX so here are the basic VFX customization uh, options and it's nice to always preview the VFX so without having do, done anything actually we can already see that our object in, is in flames so maybe we can customize this a little bit because we want more more flames and maybe the smoke could be okay I'm pretty happy and uh, here are the material animation so with the flame you can always uh, animate the shader as well the vfx is the is a separate thing and uh, so we need to maybe with such an exposure put this a little bit up like that so we can see the emission here and uh, we can play around how it's gonna how it's gonna play and uh, there are other shader modes like dissolve and uh, texture override it's now white to override but these are used with the 
usually with a different kind of animation so this has texture override yeah okay so now you know the basic converting and uh, when we click begin effect on start it will begin the effect on start so as you can see it's now plantified or in flames or something like that and we can also use some igniters or other objects to ignite the the ones we are we want to ignite i'm going through that later so okay the basic thing covered and uh, here are three bets i would like to uh, make them enable to catch fire or also catch plants or freeze so they can catch anything essentially so i'm gonna select them all uh convert to multi effect and convert okay so as we can see now this looks a li little bit different uh, they have the object master here and uh, three flames so when we click edit preview uh, they are all in flames and let's not go into here now so after that I can add more effects like plants and freeze like that so they all have now they are all able to catch flame or plants or freeze and okay so they can all catch freeze flame or plants like that and of course I could customize everything here but let's see if I would like to spread anything from this this bed so let's let's select the flame begin effect on start and press play Okay, so important thing uh, every object needs uh, some co other collider than than the mesh collider to calculate the spreading area. So this can be actually a trigger or if you don't want to want to use but you need some other collider as well in addition to mesh collider to spread the effect so let's try that again nice so the effect starts from here this bed and then spreads there and we could do also the same thing for the ice like that cool and uh, let's move on to the animated object object so it's essentially is the same thing as with normal meshes uh, you can do the same things like this and you can actually uh, spread from the 
skinned mesh to the mesh and vice versa, like that. Okay, it works, and uh, I could do just like this again. Okay, everything works as intended. So let's leave the warrior with one effect, freeze, and uh, now I would like to go over the how to ignite the effects uh, with external ignition. So let's disable the automatic enable and uh, let's name this igniter and that sphere ignite bring it closer okay so now this sphere ignites uh, anything on its area but you need to specify what is the affected class. So let's select a flame, move it to closer to the beds, and it ignites like that. And it doesn't ignite the animated object because it only has the freeze. So if we select the ice class, which freezes, then it ignites. Same thing over here, so we need the flame glass to ignite the crates. Okay, great. We know how to ignite objects, but we would like also to extinguish objects. So let's enable again the begin effect on start, delete the Igniter. Spear nullify. And rename. Okay, so this so works as with the same principle as the as the igniter. So you need to select class you want it to affect and then just move it move it there essentially so it will extinguish the area okay thank you for watching and uh, see you next time